Skandiga is under a boil water advisory since 1995. The water plant here was built in 1994. It started having problems in 1995. Today, Chief Chris Munius and the community invited media to come up in spite of all the issues that are going on with COVID-19 because there's an oily film that they don't know what it is over the water. They're looking at what to do and how to solve the problem and they're going to have to take at least 10 days for the water test that we're showing you in this video to come back from southern Ontario and tell them what's going on. So the community is going to be meeting over the next couple of days. They're figuring out what to do and they're hoping to get answers to this problem. This is James with Net News Ledger speaking to you from Nishkandika. After touring the water plant in Niskanjika First Nation, we sat down, we got some more information from Chief Chris Munias on the crisis, on what the community is planning to do or could do, and what is going to have to happen in this beleaguered community that's suffering almost 10,000 days under a boiled water advisory. I was just informed this, this morning uh, after I, uh, my, my, my friend and I uh, were out of the uh, community. Uh, we were in, in a bush uh, hauling out his, uh, his moose. So uh, when I came back, I was just informed that uh, there, was, uh, there was something, uh, a film of uh, oily substance uh, floating on, uh, on top of our water, our reservoir. And uh, that prompted the uh, shutdown of our uh, water, uh, water system. So to all day today, there was uh, there was uh, there was no water for the community, and this is uh, this is uh, actually around the fifth day, and the umpteenth time this year that the water has been shut down due to uh, Lou Reservoir. So this is a totally different new problem. So we don't know uh, what the substance substance is. We are told it's going to take about ten days to uh, get the samples back of what what it is. We 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 understand that the samples are being sent are going to be sent down south, and uh, and uh, would be it would take about ten days to uh, to get the results back. So in the meantime, we don't know what we're going to do. We don't know what's going to happen. What will the water stay shut down? Is a question, and uh, which more likely will be, and uh, we may have to consider uh, different uh, different solutions. You know, like, you know, maybe, maybe we'll have to uh, evacuate our community members. You know, those, that's one of the things that uh, we'll, we'll have to think about. Think about. Uh, this happened last uh, fall for a totally different reason. And it seems to be, uh, you know, uh, mounting up everything. Every, I mean, it's always, uh, so, it's always something else is uh, happening with this water, you know. Why, why can't it be fixed? We ask for, uh, we ask for a, a whole new system rather than just an upgrade. Band-Aid solutions. That's what we've been getting, Band-Aid solutions. Where's the real fix? Where's the real, uh, the real construction that, that needs to happen to replace the uh, water distribution system? You know, uh, there, I mean, uh, we can't even build enough pressure to, uh, to keep the water open for 24 hours. We have to shut it down because, you know, if we're gonna, if we're gonna keep it running, the pump is gonna burn out. The same pump that, that was installed last year, that, that's about 600 pounds. We don't just run into Canadian Tire and get a pump. I mean, that would be easy for us, but we can't, we can't do it. We had, to, uh, we had to find that pump last year from uh, south, down south and charter it in. It weighs about 600 pounds and uh, stands about uh, four feet tall or five feet. And, you know, it's, 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 it's very difficult. It's, very dehumanizing to us the way the, the way that uh, what we're going through. Water is basic human right. How can we can't have it? Are we expected to live like this for another 25 years or more? There is something leaching into the reservoir, as you see in the in the in the uh, in the filter bed. It's not uh, it's not oily. 
and when it when it leaves the filter bed, it goes through the uh, piping, and then it comes back up to the uh, to the reservoir, reservoir, and it goes to the community. And that that's what's going to the community right now. You know what's going to happen if it's uh, you know petroleum? What if it is a petroleum? Then we're in trouble. We're in deep shit. We have to. Uh, I mean, what are what, what's what are what are we going to do to the community? You know. Those are some of the things that uh, we, we we are very concerned about. You know, well, that's why we can't we can't risk our community members. Like we don't know where it's coming from. It can be it could be coming back from the uh, from the from the distribution system. Like we don't know. We're trying to figure this out. Uh, we, we're going to try to figure. That's why uh, we have uh, technicians from Ottawa to take come and take the sample and come and take a look at the uh, at the plant right now. And uh, and tomorrow we're going to be sitting down and uh, discuss our options. And in the meantime, in the meantime, like you know, uh, I don't know if we're able to turn the uh, water on. And uh, we're going to be discussing about discussing our options. You know, uh, do we need to send out our vulnerable people out again? Is I not gonna is is gonna is going to uh, support us? You know, they didn't support us last time. And uh, that was another uh, major infrastructure failure, you know. What are, what are they going to do? I mean, you know, it's like we're not even treated like humans. The plane, the, uh, the big plane that came in behind you guys is the, is the community's uh, model water. Um, that, that's being uh, distributed right now to uh, each, uh, each, uh, each house. And, uh, and uh, hopefully that will, uh, the community members will use that to... Uh, to uh, bathe their children, you know, do their uh, sponge baths or hygiene stuff. And uh, they're gonna do, uh, you know, uh, wash their dishes with it, you know. Uh, and uh, they're gonna, I mean, uh, for consumption, for different uh, kinds of uh, consumption. About the about Canadians that are that are uh, complaining about, you know, get us getting water. Why not fix the damn water, water plant and uh, let's live on with our lives. Uh, these uh, overhaul actually uh, for for my, our community members have been saying that it needs uh, it needs a new new water plant. You know, uh, I mean, right now we're uh, we're uh, the community feels that uh, you know we're uh, getting uh, band aid solutions, just an upgrade and uh, you know uh, fix that uh, fix the uh, the leaks uh, that are around that, that may be around the community. You know, though that's that's the uh, kind of uh, you know. Uh, that's the kind of uh, solutions that are that are afforded to us by uh, by by government. I mean, we but the community says uh, you know they want to they want to they want a whole new plant a new a whole new uh, distribution system because you know it's, we're gonna we're gonna keep having problems like this. It's never going to end. Fix fix it once and you're done and fix it'll it work. Once and we're done, then we'll stay quiet. The plane that came in, the Basler BT-67, it would have about 8,000 pounds of water, which lasts about two days. Are you getting the bill for that, or is that a taxpayer bill? It's funded through uh, ESC, and uh, whoever pays for ESC will, be the, uh, will, will put the bill. The, uh, the water, uh, Boil Water Advisory came on uh, February 1, 1995. It's been uh, 9,392 days today. And counting. And counting. Sorry. Are you? Are, is the community getting the support from the government that it needs through COVID and through this water, or do you think you're falling on deaf ears in, in the crisis? Well, uh, I mean, we're getting a little, a little support, but you know, there, there are a lot of things that uh, you know, uh, but you know, uh, with COVID, um, I, I was able to argue for uh, you know a rapid testing machine so we can bring our uh, contractors in and uh, finish off the uh, finish off whatever they need to do here. So we can get uh, clean drinking water, or at least uh, have it commissioned. But you know, it's still a lot of work, and uh, you know, I, whether or not we can get the, get it done, I don't know. To, well, get, to get off the. I mean. Stay informed and stay up to date. Hit subscribe. Hit like. Share this with a friend. Make sure you hit the little bell so you get notified the next time that we have a video up. Thanks for tuning in to Net News Ledger.